In this how to we, we are going to learn how to use transactions in ATO.NET. Now before we proceed further let's un try to understand what is transaction. Transaction, transaction is a mechanism to guarantee that failing execution of one SQL statement in the group of SQL statements roll back changes made by other successful statements as well. Okay. So in this approach what happens is either all the SQL statements execute successfully or none of them execute successfully. So for that what we are going to do is that we are going to create one sample form here on my ASPX page. So here is the code for the sample form. Now here what is happening is that I have a, I have a HTML table in that we have a txt first name, txt last name, txt age and then drop active. It means that we have a drop down uh, whose there are two items are there yes and no. And then <coughs> we have a uh, control uh, file upload control that helps us to upload the file um, in, the, in the database. And then we have a click, uh, we have a, a button called submit and on click of the button we are going to execute a server side method called submit data. Now here my purpose is that uh, in my database called demo database I have two table one is personal detail. You can see that auto ID first name last name age and active. Uh, these many columns are there and I am going to enter them using this uh, this first, second, third and fourth uh, field and we have again file upload control and I am going to use this to upload the data for this particular files table where file name, file content, active and personal detail ID is there. So this is what my purpose is. <coughs> when we are going to insert a day time to both the table and if uh, while processing uh, the, the, the second table means while inserting the data into the second table if any error is occurring then even the first table data should be rolled back means even the first table record should not be uh, inserted into the database so uh, let, let me let me show you how to do that so first let us create the code behind for that for this particular page so I have a underscore con str uh, page level variable so here is my page level variable underscore con str and this is basically retrieving the con database connection string that is being stored into the web dot file so here is the con str and that is being retrieved and saved into underscore con str variable and then we have uh, submit a data method so let me show you that submit data method here as well so and this is the submit data method this is a little long method I'm going to cover all of them what is inside this method I'm going to you now describe line by line so please do not worry about this let me correct the code that was written here okay and then here we have this and this that's it I hope it is fine now yes it is okay now what will happen is that uh, when uh, this is submit uh, uh, button will be clicked then submit data server side event will fire and in the submit data server side event side event what we are doing is that we are instantiating this SQL connection object by passing the database connection string and then we are opening the connection because we are going to use here transaction object so before we use the transaction we will, the, our database connection should be open so that's why we are opening the connection here and then we are uh, calling the begin transaction method of the connection object and storing that transaction into the SQL transaction variable okay it's, it's, it, this is transaction is nothing but the object of the SQL transaction and then we have kept try and catch block and then finally block as well sorry there is no finally here only try and catch we are not using finally because we are using using block here so as soon as the work of the transaction and SQL connection is done the object will get disposed automatically so we do not need to use finally here so under the try block what we are doing is that we have our insert statement as you can see this and uh, it, is, it is trying to insert a data into the personal detail table by passing first name, last name, age and active and this first name, last name, age and active is coming from the uh, the field, the, the text boxes and the drop down we have on the ASPX page as you can see here txt first name, txt last name, txt age and then drop active 
and uh, what we are doing is that we are uh, instantiating the SQL command by passing the uh, insert statement of the personal detail and the database connection and then to this particular command we are specifying the transaction so, uh, so the SQL command means the cmd dot transaction is equal to the transaction that I have uh, opened the transaction that I had started the, or the begin here so I have specified the transaction and then what we are doing is that we are adding the parameters uh, that we ha have in this insert statement into the SQL command and there, then we are executing the ex uh, we have called the execute non query method so what it will do it will basically execute the insert statement that was specified into this particular command object now again now we have done here one one thing now the another the, then another thing is left and the another thing was to upload the file into the database so now let us uh, uh, see the code to, uh, to upload the file on the uh, in the database so for that what we have done we have first uh, retrieved the file name that user has selected to upload so here is the and that we are storing into the file name variable and then we have uh, retrieved the content length of the file that is being stored and then we have created an an, an array of bytes uh, and uh, uh, read the file content into this uh, area of bytes and my area of bytes variable is image bytes so the file content is being read into the image bytes variable and then what we have done is that we have uh, again uh, written the insert statement that will basically insert the record into the files database table and because this insert statement the second instant insert statement is accepting three parameters file name file content and active so we are naturally going to uh, create uh, again uh, array of sql parameters and specifying this three uh, parameters for uh, for uh, the three values into this parameter and then we have execute uh, instantiated the sql connect sql command object and then we have specified the connection added the new parameter into it and then again we have executed the we have called the execute non query method now in case the first select statement sorry in, the, in case the first insert statement and the second insert statement successfully executed then we are calling the transaction dot commit method when we will call the transaction dot commit method at this time actually what will happen is that both the insert statement will take effect into the database okay unless we have called the transaction dot commit these even if we have uh, called the execute non query method but it will not be uh, get affected into the database because of this transaction and then we have closed the connection that's fine and in case any error has occurred either into this or into the second insert statement then what happens is this transaction dot rollback method is called and that actually rollback whatever uh, statements we have executed or whatever command we have executed so for example in this case we have executed this command and this command so both commands will be rolled back or or or, or whatever effects that both has to do will, will not be done so uh, let me run this page and show you here so uh, before I run let me just uh, uh, go ahead and see that how many records are there into the personal details table so in the personal details we have 8 records and in the uh, files table we have none record fine now let me run this page so here is my page I'm going to run it and I'm going to read, uh, write some values into this text box so for example demo is the first name and transaction is the second name and age is I'm just writing anything as and then file name I'm selecting for example any file I can select here for so myfunda.png and submit when I call submit method you will see that it is saying that file name must declare because here in the second statement what we had done we have written instead of file name we have written file name 1 so it means that this error is coming into the second statement isn't it see here let me let me uh, start debugging here 
so he he, he I, I am now in the debugging mode and let us uh, execute these all uh, codes one by one so let me refresh this page again let me select any file again here submit now it is coming one by one now you can see that in the first insert statement we do not have any problem so it is executing successfully here but while executing the second insert statement what is happening is that it is throwing error and then the transaction is or, uh, getting rolled back now in, in normal scenario if you not have used transaction then first insert statement means here this would have made a fit and this would have inserted one record into the first personal detail table so let me show you here but it will not basically insert any record here you can see that still it is 8 record why because the second uh, uh, insert statement had thrown error and it has basically rolled back the transaction so even the first uh, insert statement will not get affected now let me correct this error and let me change this file name 1 from uh, to, to, to file name so earlier it was file name 1 now I have changed to file name so now when I will run this page it should execute successfully so let me refresh this page and we are here again I'm just going step by step by pressing F10 key and you can see that first is ex executed successfully and even the second insert statement is also executing successfully and the transaction has been committed successfully and then database transaction database connection has been closed and now I am getting the message record inserted successfully now when I will refresh the database here you will see that one ninth record will be added this is the ninth record and even into this files table also one more record will be added here you can see this IT fund has been added so this is how we generally use uh, the transaction so in this kind of scenario where you have a financial transactions to be done and multiple insert or update statement is at a stake and you wanted to make sure that if all statements are have executed successfully then only the actual effects should go into the database otherwise not